All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and sing glory and honor to Say Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, In the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and the Son of Begotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Those are the true names in ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one could ask the whole tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Ba'akim, Ba'akwa, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of a uh, second address, Nan, in verse 3. And as we've been uh, seeing these increasing uh, earthquakes in diverse places, you know, hey, but just like you had that uh, magnitude of a 4.8 earthquake in the New York City region from uh, New Jersey, uh, from New York, uh, from Philadelphia, from Vermont, and the places throughout Northeast, they felt that earthquake. So that shows you that, like it says in second as the ninth chapter, that the Heavenly Father is going to visit this earth now so more than ever, and especially with these uh, earthquakes. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places, you know. It was like that uh, a couple of days ago, that major earthquake of a uh, magnitude of a 7.5 hit over in uh, uh, Taiwan that caused like uh, 10 people were died and uh, dozens were injured. And I believe still uh, uncounted for still missing, you know, as a rescue plan is underway over there in uh, Taiwan. You know, which took place a couple of days ago, like I mentioned, that major magnitude of a 7.5 earthquake. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father is visiting this earth now so more than ever, you know, with the earthquakes in diverse places. So we're definitely going to continue to see the increasing of the high impact of these high magnitude of these earthquakes in diverse places, you know. Just like that uh, earthquake uh, over there, uh, the Pacific Islands, the North Pacific Islands, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, day before yesterday, that was a 6.8 uh, magnitude of an earthquake. So we definitely seeing these uh, earthquakes in diverse places at a higher uh, magnitude scale. You know, so we are seeing it. This is a, uh, I would say like two weeks ago, you had over there in uh, the West Coast, you know, Portland, Oregon, but it was outside of Oregon, you know, that region over there, and you had like what three or four earthquakes in less than within an hour within itself about five earthquakes within an hour you know it went from a, a scale to 3.1 to like 5.7 just like those recent earthquakes that have been uh there were some more recent earthquakes outside of uh, california from a, a richer scale from like a 4.0 to like 4.2 right because one was 4.1 and the other one was 4.2 so that shows you once again an indicator that the heavenly father is going to visit this earth as is mentioned in second as the ninth, ninth chapter in Isaiah 20 and verse 6 thou shalt be visit of the Lord your how thy power with, uh, with storms and tempests and flames the rock of fire especially with these uh, earthquakes in diverse places you know so it's going to be earthquakes in places that you wouldn't expect to get hit by an earthquake in a very long time and it's going to be unexpected in places that were you never seen an earthquake got hit before in these areas and places you know right along with the tornadoes the storms the earthquakes the floodings the famines the pests the plagues so that shows you that the heavenly father is going to visit this world this world now so more than ever which he created which is the true living power uh the god of israel which is yahweh of israel and definitely uh earthquakes in diverse places and then recently uh i'll say day before yesterday about two or three days ago you had an earthquake over there in japan and that was a uh that was a magnitude of a 6.0 magnitude of an earthquake so like i mentioned once again so we definitely going to continue to see these earthquakes in diverse places and the heavenly father is going to continue to visit this earth now so more than ever and this is a uh, second address chapter 9 and verse 3 from the apocryphal books of the holy scriptures and reads yeah it says, uh, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, right, earthquakes, the high magnitude of these earthquakes in diverse places, and we're going to continue to see it increase more and more and more, you know. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father is only going to continue to increase and visit this earth now, so more than ever. And I'm going to read that. This is a uh, second edition and verse 2. It says, then thou shalt understand it is a very same time where, where in the highest, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh thy power will begin to visit the world which he made right so the heavenly father is going to continually ultimately visit this earth now so more than ever because he's the true creator the true living power he's the creator of everything that's living and existing which is yahweh thy power 
So it has nothing to do with Mother Nature, climate change, the change in the climate, no. It has something to do with the Heavenly Father visit this earth now somewhere than ever. See you later, Aunt. I see you, see you dressed up in everything. Yeah, <laughs> all right, y'all, if they come, if they come. Okay. I told you, y'all, if they come. All right, Mom. So, yeah, I'm going to read again. Second Edges 9, verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand. Uh, it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so the Heavenly Father is going to visit this earth now so more than ever. Second Edges 9, verse 3. It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world. All right, we're going to see the earthquakes in diverse places uh, and the uproars in the people of the world as well, too. So this was just a quick sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Second Edges and verse three, and that shows you that a clear example that we're gonna see the Heavenly Father visit this earth now, so more than ever, and we're gonna see the increasing of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Now we're starting to see more and more the Heavenly Father is about to visit this earth now, so more than ever, with the tornadoes, the famines, the pests, the plagues. Matter of fact, we'll bring up that Second Edges fifteen verse five. We got one more scripture, then I'm officially close out. So this is basically just a quick sit down lesson of 2nd Edges 9 verse 3. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So I'm going to bring out one more scripture. And this is 2nd uh, Edges 15 verse 5 from the Apocrypha books of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, your will thy power, and I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father is going to bring the sword, the famine, death, and destruction. He's going to bring the earthquakes in diverse places. The famines, pestilence, and plagues, the tornadoes, the earthquakes, the landslides, the famines, pestilence, and plagues, etc. You know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of a uh, second address, nine verse three from the Apocrypha books of the Holy Scriptures. So once again, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. With that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to take Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, and the Heavenly Father, true name is like Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Baha Shem, in the name of Hamashiach Kavshai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Hutan. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Kwam Yasharala and Shalom.